The video of the 20-foot giant squid, 100 miles off of New Orleans, captured the public's attention. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ancient Greek myths that turned out to be true. Homer left clues to the location of Troy throughout the Iliad, and the details are so precise that many historians believe he was talking about an actual place. For this list, we're looking at old tales in Greek mythology that were seemingly based in reality, thanks to a scientific discovery centuries later. Which of these do you find the most intriguing? Let us know below. Number 10. The City of Tenea According to mythology, after the Trojan War, a bunch of prisoners were taken to the island of Tenedos. Eventually, Agamemnon, the king of Mycenae, allowed them to create a settlement, which became the city of Tenea. The location also played a part in the story of Oedipus, who famously had a whole complex named after him. But Tenea eventually vanished from the records and was seemingly a fictional place. That was until 1846, when the Kouros of Tenea was found in the area. Then in 1984, a sarcophagus was discovered by local villagers and archaeologist Elena Korka. In 2013, Korka led an excavation of the site. Since then, various ancient items and the remains of Tenea's buildings have been discovered. Number 9. Orichalcum. It was Cadmus that brought the making of bronze. He knew how to make alloys, special metals, which in the early days of civilization was the beginning of technology. When you think of the most precious materials in the world, orichalcum wouldn't be considered. However, to the ancient Greeks, this metal was believed to only be behind gold in value. In Plato's Critias, he speaks of the walls of some of Atlantis's buildings being decked out with the unusual material. He described the metal as, quote, flashing with the red light. The copper tint of this metal caught the attention of the seekers that came to this sacred place. While many believed orichalcum to be a work of fiction, in 2015, a discovery was made. Off the coast of Gela in Sicily, a 2,600-year-old shipwreck was located. On board were 39 ingots made from seemingly orichalcum. Scientists discovered the material was an alloy, primarily made from copper and zinc, but also had traces of lead, nickel, and iron. Number 8. The Golden Fleece Get the fleece! In mythology, looking to become king of Iolcus, Jason and the Argonauts set out to claim the Golden Fleece of Chrysomalos, which has long ties to his heritage. When do we sail? Tomorrow. As the name suggests, the sought-after item was a fleece made from gold. During a perilous journey filled with one ridiculous task after another, Jason manages to get the iconic item from a grove in Colchis, located in modern-day Georgia. Well, this tale might be based on fact. Back then, sheep fleeces were used to collect gold flakes from rivers and streams. And several of these gold-rich water sources were in Georgia and mentioned in Jason's tale. As such, it's likely the Golden Fleece is talking about this ancient way of prospecting. The Fleece! Give me the Fleece! It has the power to heal. Number 7. The Chimera Give away! It's going to catch his fire! Probably one of the most terrifying creatures from Greek mythology, the fire-breathing chimera is typically depicted as having the head of a lion, a goat, and a snake-headed tail. According to Homer's Iliad, Bellerophon defeated the beast in Lycia, modern-day Turkey. Well, it's likely a real location that inspired this story. In Yanartosh, near the ancient city of Olympus in Turkey, is Mount Chimera. Legend has it that a fire-breathing monster was killed here by a Greek god and its breath lives on beneath the rocks. On the slopes are fires that are still burning centuries later, which have natural gas vents below feeding them. On top of this, the area is said to have been inhabited by lions, snakes, and goats at one point. Suspicious. As the rocks of Yanartash continue to burn, geologists are continuing their search for more deposits like these. Number 6. Plutonian at Herapolis Nicknamed Pluto's Gate, these areas were thought to be entrances to the underworld in ancient Greece. This magnificent place hides a dark secret. Legend says that beneath these streets lies the gate to hell. Named Plutonian after the god Pluto, who was previously called Hades, animal sacrifice was a common practice there, especially at the site in ancient Herapolis in modern-day Turkey. 
During a ceremony, a priest would take an animal into the eerie depths. The rising toxic gas would then cause the creature to pass away, but the human to live. They believed the gas was sent by Pluto. However, after the cave was discovered in 2011, studies have shown the gas is pockets of carbon dioxide from seismic activity. It's amazing that the myth was not only a myth, but it is a reality. The priests would hold their breaths to escape the effects and be celebrated for making it through Pluto's sacrifice. The priests likely believe the deadly vapors rise straight from the underworld. They almost certainly believed it was the gates of hell and that this was the only way they could survive it. Number five, the Oracle at Delphi. One of the top jobs in ancient Greece involved being the Pythia at the Temple of Apollo. At any given time, a single oracle known as the Pythia communicates Apollo's will. Also known as the Oracle of Delphi, the high priestess was visited by many, including rulers. She would go to a chamber and inhale the vapors from a crack in a rock, putting her into a trance as she gave advice. In antiquity, just like today, people had a lot of uncertainties in life, and they presumed that the gods knew more than they did. However, this occasionally caused delirium or led to their demise. When the temple was excavated in the late 1800s, the mystical vapor wasn't present, so it was thought of as a myth. However, in 2001, geological studies found fault zones underneath the site. Researchers believe the vapor was a hydrocarbon gas, in a nearby water source, ethylene was discovered, which was once used as an anesthetic. Scholars think water running underground could have carried gases up through the fault lines directly to the priestess. Number four, Amazon warriors. When thinking of Amazon warriors, Wonder Woman would probably be the first thing to spring to mind. The second is that they're fictional, but are they? Ancient Greece was fascinated by them. As such, they were featured in many stories, including the labors of Hercules, and showcased their superior combat skills and strength over Greek folk. Amazon battle scenes decorated the Parthenon on the Athenian Acropolis. Paintings and statues of Amazons adorned temples and public spaces. In 2019, a tomb in the Voronezh region in Russia was excavated. The archaeologists found the remains of four women warriors from three generations buried together. They found an elaborate golden headdress, weapons, and other goods within. The women's skeletons show battle injuries, ribs slashed by swords, skulls bashed by battle axes, and arrows embedded in bones. While the remains were officially credited to be Scythian nomads, some researchers believe they are the basis for the Amazon legend. Number three, Atlantis. An ancient structure bears a striking resemblance to a stone staircase. But is it natural or man-made? Since Plato wrote about the island of Atlantis in his work, the human race has been fascinated with the place. Within his tales, Plato describes the utopian island from its highest point to its lowest, when the gods sunk it into the ocean's depths. While Atlantis is thought of as fictional, the story might not be. Instead, it could be based on an actual natural disaster that swallowed an island. One example is the volcanic eruption and earthquake that turned the singular island of Santorini, previously known as Thera, into an archipelago. The quake also created tsunamis, which swept over other settlements. This devastated the highly advanced Minoan civilization, which was effectively wiped out. There is a huge amount of unrecorded human history beneath the ocean surface that we don't know very much about at all. Number two, giant squid. The video of the 20-foot giant squid, 100 miles off of New Orleans, captured the public's attention. Many ancient civilizations have tales about the monstrous giant squid that destroys boats and terrorizes the oceans. And the Greeks were no different. In Homer's Odyssey, he describes the sea monsters Scylla and Charybdis that resided in a narrow strait. The latter was known for creating whirlpools, while the former had six heads, was 12 feet, and had rows of sharp teeth. Athena, protect us. Scylla would use her multiple noggins to devour six sailors that got too close to a rock. It wasn't until 2004 that scientists managed to get a photo of a giant squid in its natural habitat, and it had some resemblance to the legend of Scylla. 
people are very interested in this kind of thing and we need to make people more aware of just how many incredible things there are in our ocean. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The City of Troy To the ancient Greeks, the city of Troy in Turkey was a powerful kingdom that had its downfall during the Trojan War. According to legend, Troy rises from the coastal plains of Asia Minor. It's the most powerful city in the region, housing more than 10,000 citizens. Detailed in Homer's work in Iliad and Odyssey, after 10 years of besiegement, it was conquered by the Greek army led by Agamemnon. It's also the setting for Achilles and Hector's legendary fight. But then, Troy fell to history and was considered a myth. That was until 1865, when Frank Calvert began excavating a site in Hisarlik and found evidence of its existence. Homer left clues to the location of Troy throughout the Iliad, and the details are so precise that many historians believe he was talking about an actual place. He brought in Heinrich Schliemann, who was notorious for his reckless methods. In 1871, they found multiple ruins believed to be attributed to Troy. Since then, archaeologists have discovered further evidence that the legendary city may have existed. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.